Question 6 of the Talent Q Corn Ferry Elements Logical Practice Test Question. Pause the video and have a go at answering this question. When you're ready, press play again and I will go through my worked solutions with you. I hope you've had a go. I'm going to quickly explain to you the patterns behind this logical sequence here and then I'll go through the quickest way of solving this problem. In order to solve this problem, we'd have to look at our table in terms of columns, because we can see that the shapes in the columns are all related. The pattern is the last two shapes here in the first column and first row here is the same as the first two shapes here in the second row, first column. The last two shapes here is the same as the first two shapes here. Likewise, the last two shapes here is the same as the first two shapes here, and the last two shapes here is the same as the first two shapes here, and it's the same for the third column here. Another thing we can notice is that the last two shapes here and the first one in the first column, second row here, these three combine to make this shape here. So we have an infinity, n sign, and this circular shape here. These combine to give us the infinity, n sign and circular shape. Now again, we have the n sign here and a circular shape here and the percentage sign here. These three combine to give us the n sign, circular sign and percentage sign. Realizing this pattern straight away would allow us to figure out what this missing piece here would be. This would just be a combination of these two here and this first one here. So we're going to have a percentage sign a root sign and an infinity sign, percentage sign, a root sign and an infinity sign. So our answer has to be this one here. I hope that made sense. If you have any questions, do let us know in the comments below. If you would like to see more videos like this, do give us a like and subscribe.